Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. In today's CCNA video pop quiz and lab, there will be order. Or at least we hope so, because we're going to be on the live equipment here in about 20 seconds after taking a look at a practice exam question and seeing what order I'm talking about. Because we all have different types of questions that we like and don't like on exams. Every single one of us. And for me, having taken these exams for almost 15 years, I still don't really like the questions where you're asked a certain command and they give you like six variations of the same command, like say IP route. And IP route is not the one we're looking at today, uh, but I do have a couple of videos on that, so you want to check those out on YouTube as well. But you know, you have to have the syntax of certain commands down cold for the CCNA. And this is a good one to have down cold. You want to overwrite the current starting configuration file with the current running config. Which of these four commands will accomplish this? And even if you think you know, don't leave yet because I got two really good exam tips for you on the live equipment, which is where we're going to head right now. So let's try the copy command first off. And this can really throw you. Still catches me every once in a while because I'll type in something that I've you know typed in for a long time and I know darn well it's the right command. And you get unrecognized command. And just for a second you go, what do you mean unrecognized command? Well, what that probably means is that you're in the wrong config mode. And it happens to everybody once in a while. You can run the TFTP command from there. Uh, but that's not really what we're looking for in this particular question. We are going to use the copy command. And the first thing to remember about that copy command is that you are going to use it out here at the enable prompt. This is where you're using it. So with the copy command, we know that C and D are incorrect. So one of these two questions, or excuse me, one of these two answers is the right answer to the question. And the key to remember with the copy command is that the first location that you enter is where you're copying from. So if we did copy start, and then the second position is where you're copying to. And what this would simply do is copy your startup config over your running config. Oh, excuse me. Let me bring that window back. Got that in the wrong place. So if we are overwriting the current starting config with the running config, what we are doing is copying the running config to the startup config. And I know it's the opposite of what I did here, which is used that as an example. But again, if you're going to use the copy command, the first location that you enter is where you're copying from and then the next location is where you're copying to and you could abbreviate that any way you wanted to it's usually going to be copy run start and that will do it and according to that buzzer that's our three minute time limit so that is the answer to today's question and a good tip about your copy command as well thanks for watching today's video boot camp i'm chris bryant thanks for making tba part of your cisco certification success story